Kaipa. Rock may be strong, but you're not the only one with an Egyptian god card. Wrong. Attack his face down card, Blaze Cannon. I activate my trap card. Shift. This redirects the attack to its head cannon. You're only delaying the inevitable. Your move, bitch. It's time for me to summon my god card. I flip summon Lord of Dragons. Next, I play the magic card, Flute of Summoning Dragons. This allows me to special summon to dragon-type monsters from my hand. I choose my Blue Eyes White Dragon. The time has come. I think you know what's next. I sacrifice all three of my monsters so I can summon this. Come forth now! Obelisk the Tormentor! <laughs> my mighty Egyptian god is here at last. That card is going to look so good in my deck. Rick, you will soon realize that you made a mistake by challenging me. I will crush you with Obelisk. Your move, Rick! If he manages to get to monsters on his field, he can activate his god card's effect and destroy Ra. Then I'm fucked. I need to move to plan B. Ra! Attack of a list! Our god cards are evenly matched. They will both get destroyed! Yeah, that's the whole fucking point. Ra! Blaze Cannon! Obelisk! Fist of Fury! You were so afraid of Obelisk's power that you decided to sacrifice your own god card. Toward! Listen, you may be rich, fuck face, but you're nowhere near as smart as you think. I will not have my level of genius insulted by the likes of you. I'll admit, this hologram technology you invented for these dual discs is not bad, but I would have done it way better. Oh really? I beg to differ. You're nothing but a bitter and delusional drunk. <laughs> I activate card of sanctity. Now we both draw till we each hit six cards. I set one card face down and activate the magic card swords of revealing light. Now you cannot attack me for three turns. Your move. I summon Dictator of Dragons in attack mode. Now I activate my monster's special ability by discarding one blue eyes from my hand. I can special summon blue eyes from the graveyard. This will come in handy. I set two cards face down and end my turn. It's time for me to finish this duel. I activate my trap card, Portal Return. This allows me to return one monster from either player's graveyard back to their hand. I choose Obelisk. Why is he returning Obelisk to my hand? What is he up to? Now I activate the magic card exchange. You know exactly how this works. So you plan to summon my god card? Actually, I don't. He has no monsters on the field. How is he going to summon Obelisk? <laughs> What's the matter, Kaipa? Are you perplexed by my strategy? The only thing that perplexes me is your bad beer breath. I know exactly what you're planning. Once again, you underestimate my superior dueling skills. I activate my face down card, Monster Reincarnation. By discarding one card, I can add one monster from my graveyard to my hand. I choose wrong. This doesn't make any sense. I activate the magic card, Plumba. This increases my life points by 1,000. You only know the three Egyptian gods. Little do you know, there were other Egyptian gods that existed, all born from the same life force. What are you talking about? You're a madman. I am about to summon an ancient and all-powerful creature that has not been seen for millennia. A monster that's more powerful than any single god card. If there was a monster more powerful than the god cards, I would know about it. It's time to turn this duel into a shadow game. What the fuck? What's up with the Millennium Rod? It's acting up. Come on, work your piece of shit. The time has come. I activate my face down card divine fusion. What card is that? Magic and trap cards cannot be activated in response to this card's activation. By paying for a thousand life points, I can fuse the god cards together to form a new divine beast. No! 